Morning YouTube. It's Tuesday, I think. I'm trying to go on my phone five to unlock so I can see the day of the date and time. It's Tuesday, August 8th, 2023, 7.48 p.m. No. Let's try this again. It's Tuesday, August 8th, 2023, 7.48 a.m. It's the morning. The sprinklers are on at Pierce Park. And I don't see any bums in the park. It's um, reasonably cool outside. I'm recording on the iPhone, so I can't use the weather widget to check the temperature. But hey, I just left my Wi-Fi, so the weather widget on Obama Phone 3 should be current. As it opens directly to port. It says 92 degrees outside. sidewalk was cute you know it's been so hot lately that 92 degrees genuinely feels cool out I'll take it somehow I managed to wake up almost on time for work somehow Yesterday I went home from work early. I don't remember how early, but I know I shot a little video, so at least there's some record of it. This street really needs sidewalks on it. It really bothers me the city of Phoenix doesn't consider sidewalks on this street a priority. They're so concerned about pedestrians. Oh my God, we need to make the streets safe for pedestrians. We need to make it so people can walk because not everybody can drive. And those bad Republicans, they stopped us from spending billions on light rail to go from downtown to the Capitol. You guys really care about pedestrians? How about instead of spending billions, you spend thousands and put sidewalks on 46th Street between McDowell and Palm Lane. And spend a few more thousands and catch the other streets that are just like that, that have heavy pedestrian traffic, that are narrow, and have absolutely no sidewalks. Come on, Mayor Kate, you can do it. Instead of trying to spend billions of dollars on a light rail line on a street that already has a free shuttle bus that allegedly runs every 12 minutes. And then take that free shuttle bus that runs every 12 minutes, you know, the dash, I think that sounds for downtown area shuttle for the homeless. I don't know. Why don't you rename it Capital Shuttle? Spell it out, don't use an acronym. Fuck acronyms. Acronyms can stand for anything. If you got a creative mind for acronyms. I was trying to open up Obama Phone 5 and see what the traffic's like going through the short stack, but I'm just going through the damn airport. Yeah, there's a part of me that just wants to put a shitty tablet right by my back door or an old smartphone that just barely runs. Although, if I had a, another old smartphone that barely runs, let's be real, I'd have it on me and would be using it for vlogging because, I mean, hello, look at what I'm using right now. Street. Thank 
that makes sense. City Phoenix wants to show how much they care about pedestrians. How about some kind of a pedestrian route or frequent bus service from 44th Street in Washington down to 44th Street in University? There's not even a way to walk that. You take the 32 bus, which runs every 30 minutes at best, which of course there's a, there's a fare for. Or you can walk down Washington into Tempe. You have to leave Phoenix to do it. Walk down Washington all the way into Tempe to Priest Drive. Walk down Priest Drive all the way to University. And then walk down University all the way to 44th Street. It's literally three miles. Three miles of extra walking. Because as a pedestrian, you don't have a motor vehicle to use South 44th Street from Washington to the university. Yeah, there's so many things the city of Phoenix could do to show that they care about pedestrians. And, and running light rail from downtown to the capital really isn't one of them. That just shows that they want to piss away our tax dollars. Because there's already a shuttle bus that runs that every 12 to 15 minutes. show us you really care about pedestrians over there, move the bus stops so that they better connect up with light rail and fix the timing of the shuttle so that it better connects up with light rail. The city of Phoenix wants to really show it cares about pedestrians. How about you hire me? Create a fucking city office for me. Give me some oversight over that shit. Put somebody in charge of that that actually knows what it's like to be a pedestrian. That actually walks in this city. Instead of some politician that's probably never walked anywhere as a mode of transportation in their life. Or just doing a bunch of virtue signaling. Oh. God, I wish I had that quote handy from Mayor Kate. Like right after the public since the state legislature shot down that extension of White Hill. That quote she gave, that was just prime virtue signaling. And all I'm thinking in my head is, bitch, are you not familiar with the dash and where it goes? You know, the dash, dash, it's an acronym, it stands for Downtown Area Shuttle for the Homeless. Signs say it's a government loop. some reason when it gets into downtown Phoenix, it's only two stops in downtown Phoenix are deliberately chosen in such a way that they don't connect up to anything. Seven fifty seven. Guess I'm gonna make it work on time. So what have I done since I went home from work early yesterday? I slept. I slept and had weird fucking dreams. At one point I woke up at about, I don't know, 10.30 p.m. ish with an incredibly painful migraine headache, took some pills and basically curled myself into a ball and went back to sleep in excruciating pain. Priscilla sent me a video of what looked like essentially a race riot down in Alabama started over somebody complaining that his boat was blocking his boat up here. Apparently bystanders saw it as a black guy fighting a white guy, so all the black people decided to join in with the black guy, and all the white people decided to join in with the white guy, based purely upon skin color, and turned it into this big race war brawl thing. That's where society is headed, I don't think I want to be any part of it. Nobody actually 
actually took a moment to, you know, find out about what they were actually arguing about or see what the deal was with the boats. Or, I don't know, the boat that's in the way, get the fuck out the way. Or if the boat that's in the way was in the process of getting out the way, the boat that's trying to get past, just be patient and let the guy get out of your way and then you can proceed. Although Winolo offered me a new job at like 11.30 p.m. It was with Axel Hire, which is funny because Axel Hire is the only thing that ever came up with that other job search app that I was using, which I think I just got frustrated with and deleted. One was called Workwild. The one that that attractive black woman that I met at the bar, what bar? Uh, oh God, it's probably like two months ago. Um, Hideaway Lounge. I'm just there on a slow night singing karaoke because it was lonely and I just wanted to keep companionship. At least at this point, I'm working so much that my tired just overwhelms my lonely. So I'm not going out looking for love all the time. I'm just, just collapsing in my bed and falling asleep because I'm exhausted. I guess that's an improvement. I can feel an end to me being broke, by the way from my last Winolo shift over at HelloFresh at my bank yesterday, so that's a good thing. Uh, thing in Axle Hire, yeah, instead of the typical driving shit that I've been getting offered, like... Wow. That was Jasmine. She just gave me, like, the dirtiest look ever. I don't know what the fuck that was about. That was, I, I, wish, I wish the camera would have caught that. Holy shit, that was just... It's like she stared bullets at me. Like if she could have just destroyed me with a look, she I would be dead right now. I don't know. I've never done anything but been nice to that woman. Uh, maybe somebody told somebody else that I commented she had a huge ass, but that's because she has a huge ass. I don't get mad when people comment that I have a huge penis. This is what it is. All right, I'm heading in. My hat on. I guess I'll explain more about Axel Hire and money and stuff. But what did I do? I slept. That's it. I slept. I got nothing done. Didn't get my laundry done. Didn't get all the so many things I need to get done. The important thing is I didn't find out when my social security appointment is, which I think is tomorrow. I really need to figure that out. That's important. What the hell's in this bag? Oh, snacks. Really? I'm taking them with me. Well, I'm off to a great start here. I'm five minutes late coming in the building, but it took me like three minutes to get clocked in because that stupid time clock never reads my fingerprint. And uh, it never reads my fingerprint. And apparently the two people in front of me were struggling with it as well. Jasmine was one directly in front of me. Um, she came over here to the dirties and just simply grabbed a vehicle and drove off with it, big SUV. God knows what she thinks she was doing with it. But it's not my job to figure out what she does all day. It's my job to figure out what I'm supposed to do all day. So I walked a lot. The only two vehicles I found, by the way, it's 8.18 a.m. The only two vehicles I found that needed move were both missing their keys. So I couldn't move them. Just like that's only one of the shot times. It's one I'm not supposed to mess with. I'm going this way before. I have an uncomfortable interaction with her that triggers me into snapping because I feel like I'm not snapping. 